Hello everybody! Yes, I was gonna go to bed, but before that I really really wanted to do this. So I wanted to show you how to connect VCV React with Ableton. Not only to synchronize it, but also to record the audio from VCV Rack into Ableton in a really smooth and easy way. Let's do it! The first thing we need to do is we need to go to vcvrack.com and download and then we need to download the last of the older version is the 0. 6.2 C. I have Mac, so that's why I need this one. And then, as you can see, you will have the component and the VST. Don't install this version, you need to install the last version, the version number one from VCV Rack. Okay, this is only to get these two files. This is everything what we need. So that's why we need to place these files into dedicated folders. Once it's done, we will have it right here in Ableton as well. Then the only thing we need to do is just to create an audio channel and then load the VCB bridge. And then we can select up to 16 ports. I'm gonna select only one port. And then coming to VCB rack, gonna choose the audio eight. And instead of core audio, we are gonna select bridge and then we will have the port one and as you can see now all the lights are on because it means that it's activated now i have a, a little patch right here going on like this and i'm gonna just con i'm gonna connect just like this so i have already sound somewhere and it's right here amazing now the thing is that we can't record directly into this channel what we need to do is we need to create the second channel this one i'm gonna call it vcv12 for example so then i can easily identify it and then what i need to do is just to select the audio from and post effects so then i can lower this one and then i can monitor this channel and this is the way that I can record just like this just like that but of course it's not synchronized yet so that's why to do it is with the MIDI to CV module like this as you can see and then we need to select bridge again and then I can select port 1 and then just clock like that I'm just gonna change this one to 16 like this perfect excellent so now I can come back here and now it's nicely synchronized like this and then for example I can also add a kick drum into another channel in Ableton so that's why I'm gonna load another audio 8 for example again bridge now in this case I'm gonna select the port 2 because I'm gonna need another pair of channels well actually in this case only one channel so I'm just gonna get the kick drum out of here this and of course it's still off because I didn't load it in here so I'm gonna load it in here another and then port 2 and of course it's in stereo so that's why I have only that signal but it's fine I just need to select that one just like this and then to record this kick drum I need to do exactly the same so I'm just gonna load another channel like this from audio 4 like this and always post effects so then I can lower the volume I can monitor it and then now I can record everything at the same time like that perfect excellent now I can go to bed goodbye